And we're back live from Los Angeles. Good morning, La La Land. I am so excited because I have a dear friend in the house, Nick Maestrom. He is one of the founders of Karma Army Coins, which is an incredible, incredible idea. Of, let, let's show the coin right away. I, think. I am part of the Karma Army. I couldn't be more excited. This is an incredibly genius idea. Right? Well, I mean, it was it was a long time coming. Um, you know, I grew up in... Um, in Anchorage, Alaska, and uh, the the idea that really gave it life is um, we were, my family and I were sitting in a Denny's restaurant about, gosh, 30 years ago now, and this uh, random guy just came up to the table and, and paid for our family's meal and told my dad, you know, what a great family he thought we had. Wow. And so every, it was right around Christmas time, and every year around Christmas, um, my parents just continually brought the story up and brought the story about the guy that bought us, you know, the $10 meal at Denny's. and. Um, and just to me, what reverberated was how much, you know, that, that 10 bucks, how far it went to just, and, and it was such a small gesture and it just carried on and carried on. So that's kind of the, the original idea and what I hope is kind of embodied in the Karma Army. Right. Wow. So let's explain what it is exactly. Okay. So you've got a coin and tell us what, what, what we'll do with this coin. Well, fair enough. So, so we have these Karma coins and um, each, of the, each of the Karma coins has a number on it. And um, basically the idea is we distribute the coins through all different kinds of uh, crazy ventures that we do. For, for as an example, we there was a toll road in Colorado that everybody really had a, this issue with, and nobody liked it. And you know, nobody likes to pay tolls. And we sat there and we just paid tolls all day for everybody. Just gave out coins and just just gave out coins and just sat there and you know paid our two dollar toll. And, and people, you know, they're, they're trying to figure it out. So the idea is, you carry it with you. It's a reminder. It's a talisman. Just to do something cool and and um, kind of pay it forward as the concept that you guys know about. So. Um, right now, we've got about 15,000 coins in circulation, and we've got all kinds of stories that just pile in all the time about things that people did, either giving or receiving the coins. Wow. Where have these coins traveled? I mean, you mentioned tracking them, right? Because mm -hmm. these are trackable, so you really get to see the difference that your kindness is making. How far are they going? Where are they going? They're, they're, uh, we've, we've gotten stories in worldwide, South America, uh, Europe, and we, we haven't distributed any over there, but they just somehow make their, their way over there. And we actually. Wow. We just got kind of an interesting story this yesterday on the site that got submitted. Um, there was a girl that received a karma coin, and um, about 10 years ago, she was at a slumber party in Hawaii, and she she stole a bracelet from the girl who was hosting the the slumber party, and she denied it, denied it, denied it, and and, and for 10 years she was harboring that. She got this coin, and she said, you know, it's about time I sent that bracelet back and told that oh, woman wow. I was sorry, and, or that necklace back, and so she did, and sent her a coin and. So that's just a you know one of the thousands of stories we've gotten in. Wow! You know though, I, Aaron, Dr. Aaron gave me a coin. Mm -hmm. I have to admit, I I haven't given it away yet. There's something so special about it that you you almost want to hang on to it and it becomes special, right? It's true. So it's true. A lot of people mm -hmm. have trouble giving them away. Our, our latest promotion that we're doing on Kickstarter is we're we're sending out um, two of them. Uh, you know, one to keep and one to give away. So. Uh, you're not in trouble yet, <laughs> but, but, uh, but, but, but at, so, some, at some point you got you to you you know, find it and give it away. There's also like this pressure around it. I feel like it has to be kind of like ceremonial of like me giving this coin to someone and letting it like live yeah. on. Well, it, and it's such an interesting point that you make because that is part of the challenge with giving is you're sometimes afraid to give because you don't think you're going to get it back. Mm. You're not going to get something mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. And so it is an opportunity to share in a way that you don't have any expectation of reciprocity. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things I love about it. True. And, and you know, altruism is a, is a tricky thing because a lot of times, especially this day and age, you know, people want to give, but they want recognition for that giving. And, and this, is, this is just kind of a, the thing I like about it is there's really no limits. You can do something big, you can do something small, you can do something, you know, I was in um, LAX uh, a week ago. And this is, this is kind of something that came back to me. I was, I was messing around trying to charge my iPhone and, and I couldn't get it. My cord was frayed and I, I couldn't figure out how to, you know, and I was getting pissed like I always do about technology. <laughs> <laughs> that never happens to any of us, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Yeah, and so I just kind of put all my stuff down, put my bags down and just left my phone sitting there with the frayed cord. And I went to the bathroom and, um, you know, I came back and I don't know, somehow somebody saw that I was, you know, struggling with myself and there was like a new cable between the the plug thing and my phone, and it, my phone was wow. just charging, and I'm I'm just sitting there and I'm looking like, around and I'm like, hold on, man, I, I try to do this stuff for people. Who, who did this for me? I'm like, who did this for me? So, yeah, it did. It did. So, uh, so it was very cool. Yep. So the thing about Nick that's so amazing because he and Blake, his partner, uh, they were you know we we're talking a lot about the startup and everything, and and they kept kind of going, well maybe you could be the face or whatever. And I thought. 
no, because these guys have been doing this for years. Some of the stories, as I learn more about them and some of the, the deeds that they've done are mind blowing. And I think it's okay. I think there's a dance because you go, well, should you get recognition? Should it just be pay it forward that you don't get any recognition? And it's fine either way, but please let's hear about some of the things you guys have done. Cause I, I know that you're a little bit like, oh, I don't want to tell them, but at the same time, Humble. it's really beautiful, um, beautiful stuff. Well, we, we all the time we, we, First of all, we distribute coins um, and we try to encourage people to do these small acts all the time. But on occasion, say two, three times a year, we'll do something, you know, we'll load up a pickup truck full of turkeys and just kind of hand them out at the bus stop on the day before Thanksgiving or something like that. Mm -hmm. but, we, but recently we went to the Children's Hospital in Denver, which was really fun. We bought like thousands of these um, helium balloons and we just, you know, kind of commando style, no permits, no permission, no nothing, just set up the table, set up a banner, got these huge helium tanks and just started, um, you know, filling up balloons and just, just handing them out to the kids. And um, I mean, this, this was like 90, 100, 150 people in line the second we set up the thing. Wow. And, and it was just all these different things. So, I mean, you it was put, small. You put roofs on people's homes. We have. Uh, the story, you told me a story of um, the friends that they didn't get married. Tell me about that story about the, the tea. Oh, yeah, 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 right, right, right. So um, I had uh, kind of an acquaintance who was with his partner for, you know, say 10 years, and they had like three, four kids. And um, I kept asking him, why aren't you guys married? Why don't you get married? And he said, well, my wife's teeth are just they're just rotten out and she and she knows that if we get married then they're we're gonna have to get pictures and she doesn't want to get pictures so I called my dentist his name was dr. casement awesome guy and I said all right doc um, we're gonna we're gonna get some new teeth for this woman uh, but we need we need a real special rate on this one yeah, <laughs> yes. like, we need a karmic rate on this one. Like, we, we, don't, we don't need this like full of freight you know your friends just yeah, yeah 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 that makes your yacht payment or whatever right, right. so so anyway so he gave us a great price we got her in there and she 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 just had got these beautiful white teeth and the like the day she got them the next day they went and got married at the, oh, at the wow. Wow. So that's that a cool. great story that's, that's phenomenal so beautiful yeah. so like you can just buy someone a cup of coffee or you can get a new pair of teeth or whatever yeah, it yeah. is, but like, it's such a cool idea to think about just everyone, there's, we're so overwhelmed with stress and fear and mudslides and fires and hurricanes and wars and Twitter, bleh, you know, it's like, we just want something good. So well, it's true. such a cool idea. I love the vision you have for this. Who's giving the ideas of how you're giving back? And I mean, who comes up with that? We're gonna go to the children's hospital mm -hmm. and fill all these balloons. Well, um, it's the founders, it's me and the other founders that do that. But what we try to do, a lot of times people get a coin and they wonder, well, what could I do? You know, I mean, it, what, mm -hmm. what can I do? And, you know, I, we try to inspire people through um, what we do to, to give them ideas, like limitless ideas. I mean, we, you know, as more ideas for your viewers. I mean, we, the other day we went into, just went into a coffee shop um, and I just gave the guy a credit card. I was like, hey, uh, we need to give out some of these karma coins, I was like, so, you know, the next 20 people that walk in here, just pay for whatever, you know, just put it on my tab and just give them one of these coins. And, um, and then did you sit back and watch this? We did, yeah, okay. we did, we did, we did. And we had a little camera yeah, set up too. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Woman, she like started buying, she's like, well in that case, yeah, I'll take yeah. some more. Yeah, she's like, well, yeah. if everything's <laughs> free, <laughs> give me two of those roast beef, roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> oh and, no, uh, yeah. it starts going in on you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have everything she here. That, yeah, she yeah. might not have been able to feed herself or her family. Yeah, well, it's true, and, and you know, we, we went in there and we did it, and, and everybody was just at first confused and then totally happy and just walked away with a, you know, big smile on their face. It's interesting, because I, I would imagine that'd be a knee-jerk reaction lots of folks have, is to be suspicious. Sure. Like, what's happening, right? Sure. And yeah. That, that's why, that's another reason that I love it so much, is because it help us, helps us all to open our minds to the possibility of giving. Right. And uh, not needing to be this suspicious that somebody else has an expectation that we get something back. Right, so that is something you yeah. definitely run into, and you know, when we go around and do these things, there's definitely um, a sensitivity you have to have. I mean, we were in um, Salvation Army the other day, and these you know ladies were going through getting these big carts full of stuff, and I'd just walk in line behind them and pay for it, and you know, everybody was thankful, but sometimes there, you know, there's this thing about, well, hold on, I can pay for my own yeah, stuff yeah, and all that. Yeah. So, so there's certainly a sensitivity that you have to kind of uh, have when you're when you're doing these things. Okay, but Nick, I have one really important question. Yeah. Uh -oh. Who gave you the the pedicure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That's laughs> a great color, though. Right? <laughs> so we've got these, like, uh, you know, teal. Like turquoise, yeah. Color. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's call it seafoam green. Seafoam green. There you go. Green. <laughs> no, I did it. I just started doing it a long time ago when I was, I was a pro football player and I had this 
awful, awful, awful ingrown toenails, and and the, the lady who gave me pedicures talked me into doing it. And ever since then, it's just been a conversation piece. It's like <laughs> so probably awesome. like eighty percent of the random people I meet start with, "Hey, what's up with your toenails?" Well, so since you, <laughs> since you do pedicures, we've actually got a great nail polish that's part of the Focus TV family here called Nail and Bone. And twenty percent of those proceeds actually go back to pet shelters. Um, it's a very conscious polish with purpose. So we're going to make sure you have some of those so you can uh, rock that pedicure. You can with you your right? nail and bone Are in you, the room, or you can yeah. go nail and bone. With I, I can't believe you mentioned no you play professional football. I mean, you just kind of dabbling right off the cuff, right? I there did. I, I played a little bit of football. Oh, and, you and, 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 There's your color. Here you go. Oh, there we go. We've got a little gift right for you. Here. We've got a gift for you. Twenty percent of the proceeds are do donated to charity supporting pet rescue and adoption. That is there a hell, hell of a segue into, right? into, into <laughs> all that. That, that, was, that was very impressive. You're very skilled. That's You're very skilled. So thank you so much, Valerie. John. We're so, so excited awesome. to showcase this. Nice on, to meet you. On our show and in our own, uh, you know, all of our lives and around La La Land and see where it spreads to the world and and. Be awesome. the change that we want to see in the well, world. Thank you very much. Watch Isabel tonight on uh, This Is Us, man. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's incredible. Right. She's incredible. We're going to have Isabel back for the final segment. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.